Acts 3, 1 to Acts 4, 4. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the ninth hour, the hour of prayer. And a certain man who from birth had had no power in his legs was taken there every day and put down at the door of the temple which is named Beautiful, begging for money from those who went into the temple. He then, seeing Peter and John going into the temple, made a request to them. And Peter, looking at him with John, said, Keep your eyes on us. And he gave attention to them, hoping to get something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have, that I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up on your feet. And he took him by his right hand, lifting him up, and straightway his feet and the bones of his legs became strong. And jumping up, he got onto his feet and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and giving praise to God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they saw that it was the beggar from the door of the temple, and they were full of wonder and surprise at what had taken place. And while he kept his hands on Peter and John, all the people came running together to the covered way, which is named Solomon's, full of wonder. And when Peter saw it, he said to the people, You men of Israel, why are you so greatly surprised at this man? Or why are you looking at us, as if by our power or virtue we had given him the use of his legs? The God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has given glory to his servant Jesus, whom you gave up, turning your backs on him, when Pilate had made the decision to let him go free. But you would have nothing to do with the Holy and Upright One and made request for a man of blood to be given to you and put to death the Lord of life whom God gave back from the dead of which fact we are witnesses. And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong whom you see and have knowledge of. Yes, the faith which is through Jesus has made him well before you all. And while they were talking to the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came up to them, being greatly troubled because they were teaching the people and preaching Jesus as an example of the coming back from the dead. And they took them and put them in prison till the morning, for it was now evening. But a number of those who gave hearing to the word had faith, and they were now about five thousand.